Hey everybody, Dan here from Sherpy T. I'm just doing some basic Sherp maintenance just like every single day it seems like. Um, what I got going is I'm putting in just some nuts and bolts again on the universal joint. But I got some fancy type washers that I'm hoping are going to keep that thing together a little bit better. Time will tell. So I got the panels off and everything. And what I'm trying to do here is put that nut and bolt right through that spot right there. So I've never used these type of washers before but to me it looks like they kind of have two washers sandwiched together with some goop in the middle of it. I don't know what that happens to be. Hopefully I'll know the name and I'll write that in the video here. I'm going to plop some Loctite on this bolt, put that on, put the nut on, and I'll hopefully go from there. And again, we're going into this spot right there. So I was able to get those on. That was all successful. Might be difficult to see because of lighting, but I'll try to show here. I put three of the four bolts I put those new type of washers on. This one I did not because the sucker was so tight I could hardly even move it. Or I could not move it, so I didn't really push it. And we'll leave it alone and we'll give it a shot. Next test we got. Is bending this bar back. It backed into a stump when I was getting stuck inside of a river a while ago. And I want to get that fixed, so... I can put the hitch back on. And then when I put that hitch back on, I will be able to pull the trailer. So I plan to take that to McMiller, uh, Sports Center down in Eagle in a couple of days here. So we're going to drive down to Jeep's auto body and we're going to see if we can bend that bar back, which I'm sure we can. So I'm kind of embarrassed to say I always thought the shirt bumper went on the front and the back and I am wrong. This pipe right here is bigger. Uh, if I probably pushed it a little, I might be able to get it on there, but I'm bending the darn thing. But let's look at the back. You can kind of see why I'm doing this again. So because it is bent, I can't get all of the sides on. But look at how slick this sucker is right here. This, this right here just fits perfectly. What you do is you put pins in each one of these holes. And then the one here too. And this sucker's not going to go anywhere. in here and sometimes they don't really they're tight and what I do is I'll take a hammer and I'll whack it like this and then as I'm putting this pin in it'll hold like that but I have to use a hammer we're just driving down the road here so it's not a big deal so we only had to drive about a mile and a half or so on the road, so I wasn't too worried about all the damage to the tires, even though they seem to be just fine when you drive on things that are hard. The one challenge with really hard surfaces is it's difficult to turn. Um, we also did not have any of the panels on on the inside of the Sherp, so it was louder than the Dickens. We could hardly even hear each other speak. And we did that on purpose because we wanted to check out that uh, universal joint and make sure that everything was tight when we returned. And we did, and it was fantastic.
again, when we went to Jeep's Auto Body, which is located right outside of Fond du Lac, um, known these people for years. They do great work and absolutely wonderful people. And uh, they've done uh, quite a bit of work to the shirt or helped me out with body work type things. Basically bending things back where they were originally supposed to be. Tried to get me to promise for it not to happen again, but I guess I guess can't guarantee that because the terrain sometimes dictates the results, even with good driving. This is Mike, the owner of Jeep's Body Shop. Been in the family for a number of years. They do great work. I highly recommend them. We first attempted to just kind of pull that back. They had a stationary unit right there that we attached the chain to while I was sitting inside that chirp cranking on those brakes trying to make sure that it wouldn't move forward. We were unsuccessful with this. We eventually had to apply a little bit of heat. I think it's going to be time for me to invest in a torch because we could not get this button to hardly yeah. move whatsoever. I honestly do not know still if that bar is solid or if it is a pipe. I thought when I bought this that uh, Josh actually told me from Chirp USA that it was solid. So I think that it is. However, when I was at Chirp Akedon, uh, I heard somebody else say that it was just a pipe. Uh, I don't know. Uh, but we were able to get the sucker heated up and again, it was a pain in the butt for me to hold on to that brake in the front I never use the emergency brake inside of the shirt because basically in this version the thing is junk It's a pain in the ass and it doesn't work well at all uh, We didn't actually capture that uh, But what ended up happening is is once it was heated significantly enough and we were able to keep cranking on this the whole pipe actually started to make a very unique noise and then kind of pop. It went right back into place and it was absolutely perfect. Better than it was before I backed up and hit that stump. Uh, that was a video that was, I believe, um, in mountain, I'm not sure. You're at the end of your threads there. Yep. End up loosening her up quick and grab another bite. But it's coming out. It sure is. Pound on it with the uh, thing and then go on. I think. Hey, hit the hitch. There you go. I was going to say, hit the hitch, not the, <laughs> not the truck. The Sherp is ready for action. Let's hope that there's no more videos coming for a long time with something else breaking. Next adventure is going to be a lot of fun. Hope you'll see you there. Hope all is well. Take care, everyone. Please subscribe and a like on that channel. Would appreciate it. Woo hey, we can put the trailer back on it now. Yay! Fantastic. Thank you. Don't do it again! <laughs> yeah. I can't get